that he called on Tesco to stop their behaviour because he had no issue with the plant, but yet you were able to hold it up. Is that a proper use of power? So of course Antarctica has good uses, but they need to get, to, get, get his spirit and tell us who uh, are, 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 are on it, and who are the secret, secret societies like the Ku Klux Klan, like the Freemasons, we don't know who they are. Is that what they are? So I mean, I mean we don't know anything about them. Is that it? So there'll be a secret society, and you're always on about the developers having too much power. So the power they have then, as a prescribed organisation, is notified of every planning. Of course, we have listed buildings and protected structures. They have an entitlement, and we are for the entitlements of any citizen to object if it impedes on them. And there was a determination recently, a couple of years ago, that people that could object to board Panola if they had objected earlier to, an, to a situation, provided it impacted on them. I have no problem with anyone objecting if it impacts on them. But well-heeled people sitting behind computers, uh, sending objections all over the country to developers. The Tafar and Kondi Korki and, and his hundreds of, 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 applications, of, of desktop um, ref, um, objections put in. This is where we need to tidy it up and we need to have a accountable to the people. Not a sacred cow, as I said, like the rocket cattle. They can't be moved, they can't be questioned and can't be asked. I saw what happened in Tipperary in my own county, where houses were built hanging into the lake. Who owns them? <laughs> and then anybody else wants to get a house? Locals? Not at all. They object left, right and centre. It's disgraceful. It's far removed from what they were set up for. They were good, I'm sure there were good reasons when they were set up in 1964, three and four, but to the, to the way they're behaving now. And again, <coughs> I talked to Spree Smith, Tarshi Imahanish. How dare I insult and contradict a, a wonderful, impeccable deputy, hard working deputy from Offaly? Does she know where Banahar is? Was she ever in Banahar? Did she go this morning on the way in her, in her, in her diesel gozing van with Barney in the back? And that's what she drives. And GT Lex was all about it. Cal Nolan uh, is entitled to court from any farmer, MP, anybody else. She does her research impeccably with, with, uh, with her assistant David and her dare. So look, we're here now. We're being on far right. We're being called everything else. We are representing the pe people. We're Takti Dali, oh, um, Nahir, Tipper Don, Kiri, um, Limney, Kirky, August um, Fall. And we're entitled to represent the people. But the problem here is you're not representing the people. You're representing an elite group of your supporters. And you'll find out where they are when you go knocking on doors next week and a couple of weeks to come. An elite group. An elite group, that's what you are. And you <clears throat> object to meaningful projects for, to, to allow social um, promotion, people to live and promote families in rural Ireland. You're against everything in rural Ireland, and you think everything, and the capital then is choked up. Deputy Hilly Ray mentioned about the airports, or, or somebody else mentioned about our group. Why do we have to have all the planes into Dublin, a choked city? Why don't you to support water for the airport, airport Deputy Cossack? And we have, of course, Shannon and Cork totally underlies. So the tail is wagging the dog. This is a group of tactical, well heeled individuals who just have a position of power, as I said, they have roles and they're very important and good at them, but they've widely abused the power here and it's time they were reined in. But the back benches of Fianna Fáil, Fianna Gael, and indeed the others, parties, Labour, the regions in the community at all, won't, having the power to tackle a pernicious problem that's there, to stopping people to get houses on themselves. We hear from Sinn Féin, they don't know whether they're with this or for it, but that's not unusual anymore, Sinn Féin, they don't know where they are, they're on a spinning top. But ye, ye at the moment then want to stop people building houses in their own land, in their own community. I met a farmer in Dundrum two weeks ago, and he had four sons, and he's a, quite a sizable farm. Uh, sorry, three sons and one daughter. None of the four of them could get planning on their own land. In the name of God, in a housing crisis of 15,000 plus homeless, and then you want to bring everybody in from Timbuktu all over the world and throw them into Ireland. Bring them all in and have no health care, have no school places, have nothing else for them. What is gone wrong with you? Shame on you. No, it's not shame on me. That's what you're doing. Reckless policy, overseen by your minister as well, your minister in the cabinet, leader of the Green Party now. And it's shocking what you're doing to rural communities in Dundrum, in Ross Grey, in Tadmill, and all over the country. And you're doing it every place else as well. But here you are, you protect your own members here today at all costs. Protect the members of Antarctica because the Green Party support us. My God, what about nepotism? The election result in, it's such nepotism. It's such, uh, it's actually bordering on corrupt. But look, we don't know who's on it and we can't question them. Sacred cow, sacred cow. And all we ever strive to do, and it's in the Bible and the Gospel, is do good. If you can't do good, don't do anything bad. And people say here that we're trying to do damage. Or, uh, we're an attack. I think you mentioned the word attack uh, 10 times in your speech, in your three minutes or more. We're attacking nobody. We're trying to preserve. Uh, a, a decent 
standard of living for people in Ireland, town and country, Sir that can build their own house Sir when he can't provide a house, Sir when he put blockages every way to stop him building houses, Sir you're Sir a failed entity, a failed Sir policy. Sir and the sooner that they're meant to change the quality of the election, the better. Because you have ruined this country. Talk to McGrath.